Welcome to the technical studies. If you like this video, please subscribe, comment, and press the bell icon. Before going to the main part of the tutorial, watch this part and compare the 3D model and the isometric drawing. If you have any doubt, please comment below. Pipe supports. The dashed lines, shown on both sides of the main line, means, this is an insulated piping. Let us have a look at the material list. Mark number 1 is a pipe with bevel ends, schedule 20, submerged arc welded, saw. Saw indicates this pipe is rolled from a steel plate, it is not a ready-made pipe. Mark number 2 is a 2-inch diameter bevel-ended seamless pipe. SMLS stands for seamless. Mark number 3 is an equal T, and BW stands for but weld. Mark number 4 is a 45 degree large radius elbow. Mark number 5 is a weldalet. Mark number 6 is a hose coupling. Mark number 7 is a weld neck flange with a raised face. Mark number 8 is also a weld neck flange with a raised face. Mark number 9 is a spiral wound metallic gasket. Mark number 10 is also a spiral wound metallic gasket. Mark number 11 is a 28 mm diameter, 159 mm long stud bolt with two nuts and two washers. This item is made of alloy steel. Mark number 12 is also a stud bolt, diameter 16 mm and length 83 mm. Mark number 13 is a blind flange with raised face. Mark number 14 is a flanged gate valve with raised face. RF stands for raised face. Now let us have a look at the drawing for more details. Look at the elevation, E stands for east, N for north, and CLE for center line east, the elevation at this particular point. The difference between an FW and an FFW weld is that, at an FFW, an additional length of pipe is added to the calculated dimension for field trim allowance. See the 45 degree elbow. It changes the direction of the piping spool 45 degrees down and toward the south. Here is one more field weld. Don't forget to add additional length to the pipe. See the T. The branch end is turned upward and 45 degrees to the north. Pipe support number 130. You need to check the additional drawing for this support for more details. The piping has a 1 is to 500 slope toward the west direction.
From this point, the line size changes from 20 inches to 2 inches. A 20 inch blind flange is drilled, and a 2 inch welderlet is welded on it. Item number 14 is a 2 inch gate valve. Important things to remember before starting shop fabrication. What is the size of the pipe? How many spools are there? How many shop welds are there? How many field welds are there? What type of welding is used? What types of fittings are there? What is the line slope? There are seven spools in this drawing. For field welds are shown. Can you tell how many shop welds are there? For the quantity and size of the fittings please check the material list. Thank you for watching. Good day.